Hello lovely ladies, welcome back to my pregnancy workout. This is gonna be a very fun workout. Have water with you, drink it when you need to, uh, take frequent breaks whenever you need to, make sure to slow down when you need to, depends on your pregnancy level, and also check with your doctor if these exercises are right for you. Let's begin with quick warm up. Stand nice and tall, bend your knees slightly, keep your back straight and roll your shoulders back. Warm up those shoulders. You'll need them today. We'll use them. If you want to use some weights, have something light, like one, two pounders, probably nothing more than that because you're pregnant. Change your directions, circles forward, big circles. But if you want to do this workout without weights, that's fine too. Or just have water bottles with you. Okay, now neck. Roll your neck nice and slow, gentle. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. And switch directions. Beautiful. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm sure your baby is really happy that you're exercising. You're doing something great for both of them. Okay, now walk in place. Engage your shoulders and your arms. Point your toes. more seconds until the helicopter will pass. Okay, put some energy, some motivation. Excellent. Make sure you're solid, your back is straight, look forward. You can put your hands on your knees if you want to. And inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Now I want you to roll like a cat and forward. Be gentle on your spine. Beautiful stretch. Stretch your back. Excellent. Inhale and exhale, slowly. We're still warming up. Really stretch, extend your lower back and tailbone. And I want you to wiggle left to right, very slowly and gently. I want you to warm up those hips. Yes. Great. Does it feel great? Yes, it does. Inhale and exhale slowly. Still warming up. Okay, now I want you to stand up slowly. Put your hands in your hips. Your feet are hip width, width apart. And roll your hips. Nice and slow. You can do circles if you can, very slowly and gently. Or you can simply do left to right. Semi-circles. I just want you to feel that you're warming up. You can do slight steps. Engage your feet. Swing side to side. But these are really subtle moves. That's it. Let's do it for five more seconds. And we're really busy out there. We're up there. warm up a little and gaze those arms we're gonna do steps side to side and swing your arms engage those arms and breathe remember back is straight now this time I want you to step a little bit farther bigger steps swing those arms bend the knees warm up those legs and glutes. Arms are working. Yes. That's it. You got it, girl. Three more. We're gonna go step through. One more. Step through with circle. Step. Circle around. Yes, that's it. If you're not too advanced in your pregnancy, 
You can do semi jump. Okay, skip. Bigger steps. Wonderful. We have two more. And we're gonna do skaters. Last one. Okay. And then skip. So on this one, I want you to look forward. Keep your body forward. You're just moving your legs and your arms. Bigger step, if you can. If you're really advanced, this is fine. Really. Okay, but if you can, get this cardio going. Nice, you got it. Three, two, and one more. And walk in place. Feeling warm? Yes. Okay, now will be a great time to take a break if you have to, have some water. If you wanna work out with weights, get the weights or get just water bottles. I have two light weights. I'm gonna use only one this time. Okay. One foot forward. Now you can stay in this position, just bend forward slightly. You can lean and rest your elbow. It's up to you, however it's more comfortable for you. All right, so reach down with your weight. Elbow goes up and then press up. Down and up. Wonderful. Nice and slow. This isn't about your stance. You can adjust however you feel comfortable. Take care of yourself and your baby. Don't lose your balance. Find your right position. Reach down with your weight and press up. We have three more here. Last one. And now go down and swing the straight arm up. Open it up and close. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. It doesn't have to be a big move. It can be very slow and subtle. Open the chest and press it up. Push it forward. Beautiful. You got it. Three, two, and last one. Great, switching sides. You can take a rest, take a break if you have to. You can slow it down. Okay, ready? Let's do this on the other side. Down, elbow goes up, press up. You can use slightly heavier weight on this exercise especially if it's your, it's your second trimester or early second trimester. If your belly isn't too big, you're feeling great, energized. Three, two, last one. Now reach down and open your chest. Control your moves. These are slow moves. On this one, your weight should be lighter. Or probably you want it to be lighter. You prefer it to be lighter. Great, you're doing wonderful. You see your baby smiling in your belly. Three. We have last one here and relax. You can walk in place, you can have some water. Next exercise you can do with weights or without weights. It's up to you. Your feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat it down or semi squat and lift up. Squat, lift up. 
Now again, depending on your pregnancy, if you're very pregnant or your belly's big, you may wanna keep your feet wider. Don't have to go low on your squat. Just make sure you're pushing your hips back as if you're trying to sit on something behind you. Keep your back straight and lift those legs. Bum. Wonderful. Don't lose your balance. If you have to use a chair, use a chair. Hold on to something. The most important thing is to keep moving. Get this blood flowing. Get those muscles working, of course. You have to be in shape. After all, you wanna be one sexy mama afterwards, right? Or even when you're pregnant. It's a really wonderful thing when you're taking care of yourself while you're pregnant. Great job, girls. We have three more. And last one. Now you can relax. Hands with weights this time. I really want you to have some resistance. Stand up comfortably, bend your feet slightly, bend your knees slightly. Your back is straight. Weights are in front of you. And open them up and lift and bring them down. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. On the exhale, I want you to really press with your chest. Push it forward. And lift those elbows higher. Light on your knees, don't lock your knees. Keep your back straight, very important. Great job, ladies. Keep it going, have a few more. Five, three, two, one. Yes, excellent. Now I would like you to keep your feet narrow, together or very narrow, it's up to you. Keep your back straight and then squat it down slightly. Just a touch. Got it? Okay, now you can bring your weights in front of you. Very slowly. I don't want you to lose your balance on this one. So your wrists are facing down. You can twist them. As you lift them, they should be facing down. Find a comfortable position. Nice and slow. And again, you don't have to go far down. Just bend your knees. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. That will probably change your rhythm slightly, right? Beautiful. We have a few more. Five. Four. Three. Excellent. Two. Last one, stand up and press up. You can pick up a pace on this one, just the presses. Three, two, one, we're done with this exercise. Moving on to a wider stance, sumo squat. This is gonna be very comfortable probably for all of us. All right, so feet are, toes are pointing out, Wider stance, keep your back straight. Then again, if you go down, make sure you push your hips back. Your weights are in front of you. Down and bring them up to your ear level. What about us, our fine ladies? All right, feeling it? Now we're gonna put some energy into it. Doesn't mean we're gonna go faster but it means we're just gonna breathe with energy, move with a purpose. Yes, having fun. Down and expose your chest. Bring your elbows higher. Make them work, your arms are working. Getting ready for the baby, you're gonna be lifting a lot. Five, four, Three, two, and last one. 
For this exercise, you may want to drop your weights. You may need a chair. I just don't want you to fall. Try this. Put your hands on your hips. Bend your knees. This is very important. Lift one and kick to the side. Bend your knee and extend your foot up. I don't want you to drop it. Keep it as high as you can, your foot. Don't go fast. Just kick to the side. I want you to work your legs, work your glutes. Work your thighs, ladies. You got this. I know it's hard. That's what I said. You may want to use something to hold on to. Okay, try to bring your foot as high as you can, I guess. I just want you to bend your knee. Okay, we have, whoop, I'm losing balance, see? We have three more, two, and last one. Beautiful, feeling it? Great. Relax for a sec, have some water. Same thing on the other side. Bend your knees, lift it up, and extend to the side. Kick it. Wonderful, find your rhythm. You don't have to go fast. I just don't want you to drop that foot. Yes. Lift it as high as you can. Kick it. Wonderful ladies. Three, two, and last one. If you're falling, just don't kick as high. This is fine. All right, next exercise. Exercise, I want you to pick up your weights, keep your back straight. You may want to hold your weights together, bend your knees slightly, your feet are staggered. This is going to be probably the most comfortable position. Keep your hands above your head with your weights and just simply extend it up. Just bend your elbows. Working on triceps. Try to relax. Think about your breathing. Inhale, make sure your breath reaches your baby. Fresh air, energized. Wonderful. Nice and slow. You got this. Isn't it relaxing? Such a nice exercise. Arms are working. Beautiful. Three more. Two. And last one. Slowly bring it back in front of you. Drop and down slowly. Put your weights behind your back or behind your hips, I should say. Your stance is wider, but not too wide. Just find it comfortable. I thought you want it to be like a hip width apart, but you have to keep it a little bit wider. That's okay too. Keeping your back straight, I want you to hinge down. Go low and up. Don't lock your knees, but I want you to keep your legs stiff. Inhale and exhale on the way up. And squeeze your glutes. Great job. But this working, your glutes are working, your legs are working. Keep your back straight, this is very important. You don't have to use weight for that one. But it doesn't hurt you, I suppose. We have three more. Two. And last one. Wonderful, good job. We have one exercise left. You may want to try to use weight for this one. Stand nice and tall, your back is straight. Try with your weights first. Your hands are to the side. Keep your back straight, this is very important. Now, keep your wrist facing forward. One hand turns this way. As if you're trying to push something. No, thank you, I don't want it. Other hand. Three, switching sides. And then we're gonna do three more on the other side. 
the other hand is straight or kind of straight okay now I want you to engage your shoulder as if you're pushing with your shoulder three switch really move it beautiful now we're gonna do two on each side and two feeling the burn Be feeling it. If you want to dance, feel free to bend your knees if it's going to help you if you're a dancer. Just try to engage those arms, keep them straight as much as possible. We're almost there. I know it's burning. And last one, ladies. One, two, one. And two, yes, wonderful. Roll your shoulders. Good job, girls. I'm really happy for you if you completed this workout. And forward. Okay, drop your weight. Put your hands on your hips. Stand nice and tall. Inhale. And exhale. Squeeze your ribs. Get rid of all the air. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Let's stretch our arms since we just used them. And elbows. Ah, oh, wonderful ladies. You have no idea how many women don't do anything throughout an entire pregnancy. Okay, switch your arms. I'm really happy for you and I'm proud of you. And I'm sure your baby would agree with me. Okay, an elbow. Now have a wider spot. Bend your knees, keep your back straight. And now roll your shoulders and your back. And forward. And one more. Okay, excellent work, ladies. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Have a great day and I'll see you in another one of my workout videos.